All right. Uh, welcome to this. Uh, my name is Gemini, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some uh, uh, uncomfortable occurrences that happened. Um, parents, if you're watching this with your kid, your kids, um, there is some sensitive material involved with this video, and I am going to discuss some stuff of an uncomfortable nature. So, um, just be forewarned. This isn't a DVD review or a silly review or anything like that. This is a review about uh, four days in 2007 that changed the professional wrestling world. Um, between the day, days of June 22nd and uh, June 26, 2007, uh, everyone knows what uh, happened with Chris Benoit at his house in uh, Fayetteville, Georgia. We know um, the incidents that occurred with his son Daniel and his son, um, or excuse me, his wife Nancy. Um, I want to tell you guys my memories of this. I, I've recorded probably close to five to seven hundred YouTube videos over the last five years, and I generally don't discuss this, but I am going to discuss my personal recollection of what happened between June 22nd and June 27th. June 22nd, 2007 was a, a Friday. Bad stuff was happening in the Chris Benoit house on that day. Um, that day he was uh, unfortunately murdering his wife Nancy. Um, don't want to get into details about how he murdered her, but he did murder her that day, June 22nd. None of us as wrestling fans knew really what was going on. Um, Saturday the 23rd, he was scheduled at a house show in Beaumont, Texas, and he didn't make that house show because unfortunately he was um, ending his, the life of his uh, young son, um, which in a way it's almost worse than killing his wife, Nancy. Then obviously the, the pay-per-view, the Night of Champions, 2007, that, that the night that... Uh, uh, John Cena beat Bobby Lashley in the main event. We're all watching the pay per view. I was watching it at a Bullies, and I remember Chris Benoit was supposed to come out and wrestle, and there was a substitute in the match. And I went, What the heck? Chris Benoit has to be injured. I, my thought personally was Chris Benoit is injured. I thought he was injured. I thought that that's why he was never at a pay per view, because Chris Benoit had never missed a uh, pay per view at that point. Um, so I was under the assumption that Chris Benoit was injured. Little did I know that he was unfortunately hanging in his home. You know, he off himself, you know, that day. He hung himself that day. So there's three dead people in the house. And But we didn't know it at the time. We didn't know it until Monday Night Raw. And then once you get on the internet, you start reading the reports. And you're watching Raw that night, and they do the tribute to him. And you, I remember personally late that afternoon, late that Monday afternoon before Raw uh, came on the air, I uh, I turned on the computer and it had a big picture of R.I.P. Chris Benoit and I went, oh crap, he must have um, done drugs and must have, uh, something must have happened. I didn't, I didn't know what happened. You know, obviously the details came out uh, later, uh, but watching the Raw tribute that night, I was under the assumption that it was a clean death that something must have happened. Little did I know the circumstances involved with uh, what happened. And uh, I will say to this day, I haven't watched maybe more than one or two Chris Benoit matches just out of respect for his family and his son and everything he did. But uh, we found out what happened. He murdered his son, he murdered his wife, and he killed himself. Um, real unfortunate situation, real bad day. Unfortunately, that was four days that changed the wrestling world. At the time, they were doing the Vince McMahon gimmick where he got blown up in the limo, and then they just went ahead and squashed that. And since that day, the WWE and the wrestling world has really played it safe. Uh, they've pretty much gone PG and gone away from a lot of violence since that day. You know, and maybe rightfully so, maybe not rightfully so, but 
as uh, wrestling fans, the wrestling world really changed in those four days when that thing with Chris Benoit went down. We really haven't seen a hardcore product since that day due to circumstances that happened with uh, Chris Benoit over that four day period. Um, Chris Benoit is uh, hated. Uh, Chris Benoit was erased, you know, from the WWE archives. But I met this man in October of 2005. I met him. I when I was at the hotel where the wrestlers stayed. I went right out to Chris Benoit, shook his hand, and I said, "Chris, I think your title run in 2004 was awesome." And I stood right next to the man, and I shook his hand, and I got his autograph on my SummerSlam 2005 DVD. And it's really strange because you can stand next to a man, shake his hand, look him in the eye, thank him for all his hard work, and you think that the lights are on, but on the inside of his head, less than two years later, he was going to murder his family. And you have no idea the, the evil thoughts that are going on inside this man's head. Um, unfortunately, I lost all respect for Chris Benoit on that night. And I have he was always one of my favorite wrestlers, and I haven't... Uh, watched more than one Chris Benoit match since this uh, occurred. I think Chris Benoit to this day will be in our thoughts. Um, just uh, it definitely changed the wrestling world. Just thinking about it. I can't. Um, I'm done with this video. It's out of my system. It's the last time you'll ever see me discuss Chris Benoit on this channel. Um, for those who didn't, don't think I really uh, met Chris Benoit, um, take a look right here. Um, this is my SummerSlam 2005 DVD, and that's his uh, signature right there on the cover of my uh, SummerSlam 2005 DVD. So it really did happen. I uh, met the man, and uh, I stood right next to him. I stood right next to him, um, shook his hand, standing right there with Nunzio, and Brian Kendrick and Orlando Jordan, uh, part of the SmackDown roster at the time. And when you meet a guy and you, you think the world of him, and then he goes and he uh, changes everything, you know, it's it's a hard pill to swallow. It is. I mean, you know, we have discussions about Chris Benoit, you know, in our, our group. I have a, a group here on uh, YouTube that I'm particularly close with and we discussed Chris Benoit but we discussed the the good stuff about Chris Benoit we don't really discuss what happened I mean I think we're all bothered by it you know uh, but it really did happen I mean I really did meet the guy um, but it's just a sad situation yep that's that's the man right there and that's his uh, DVD that they came out with, and one of the best um, DVDs that the WWE ever came out with. But if you look at him, you can tell that uh, he's ripped from head to toe. You can tell he's obviously on all kinds of enhancements and stuff, and maybe that fucked up his uh, way of thinking. But actually, this DVD right here, you know, it was a very, very good good DVD. This is the good Chris Benoit stuff. This isn't the, the bad stuff. So, you know, he did what he did, but he wasn't always an evil human being. I think he's evil for what he did to his family. I think he's evil for not seeking out help before it's too late. And I guess the point behind that would be, if you think that you're a danger to other people, go and get some help. Or check yourself into rehab and uh, get off the substances or if you think that wrestling is affecting your well-being or think anything is affecting your well-being just quit and go get help um, and he didn't get help and other people paid the price and uh, you know but I still have it in my collection I never I never give it up or anything I, I keep it but I don't watch it or anything but you know, that's that. 
Okay, this is the show that he was supposed to be at. Um, Bands in 2007. Unfortunately, this pay per view um, became weak because he wasn't there. He should have been there for sure. Um, this two pay per views were right around the time when it happened, right in 2007. So. You know, I don't watch either one of these either. These are both right around the time when all this shit went down. Um, they're just in the collection for the sake of being in the collection. 